Jim Smith gives him one more time around. Jeremy Meyerhofer on pole position with Pat Krask in the number seven outside. Sitting atop the leader, Boris Steve Clemens in the number 13, second row inside with the 17 of Gary Gustin out of Ennis. Robbie Baxter in the number 27 in the third row along Brian Hilliard out of Bozeman. Brannigan Brownell in the number 15 in the back of the pack with the 17 of Josh Gray out of Belgrade. Tim Smith, green flag in hand. Jeremy Meyerhofer on the pole with Pat Krask in the number seven. Let's him go. Jeremy Meyerhofer, last week's main event winner, gonna try and take a heat race. Pat Krask rockets out to the front. Steve Clemens in third with Gary Gustin in the number 17. Sitting in fourth spot, going into corner number three. Robbie Baxter in the 27, along with Brian Hilliard, Brannigan Brownell in the 15. And the 17 of Gray rounding out the back of the pack. Jeremy Meyerhofer trying to make up some time on the seven of Pat Krask. 13 of Steve Clemens gonna try to go high, shoot down low in corner number three. Let's see if he can get around Meyerhofer. Stays in the middle of the middle of the track, taking the center line, unable to get around Meyerhofer. Meyerhofer has his gun sight set on the number seven of Pat Krask. There's a familiar picture with Steve Clemens and the Jeremy Meyerhofer going into corner number two, then the number 13 taking over Meyerhofer across the back stretch just two weeks ago. Same instance in the main event. Pat Krask out in front. Steve Clemens goes down low. Pat Krask gonna try and hang on. Steve Clemens has to check up. He's gonna settle for second into corner number three. We're gonna go halfway down, halfway to go. White and green come out on this lap. Steve Clemens gets around. Pat Krask. Jeremy Meyerhofer wasn't close enough to get the open door. Pat Krask falls back in the line. Robbie Baxter still trying to get around the 17 of Gustin out of Ennis. Brian Hilliard and Brannigan Brownell in the back of the pack as the 17 of Gray gets the lap flag, which is the purple and orange. Move over, hold your line. Leaders are coming around. Does a good job that time by. Let's see if Steve Clement gets around him on the back stretch, and he does. Pat Krask and Jeremy Meyerhofer going around the 17 of Gray. Robbie Baxter still fighting for position with the 17 of Gustin. Lap traffic able to help out Robbie Baxter. Robbie Baxter slams her hard into corner number one. Coming out in front of Gary Gustin. Gary Gustin gonna try to get that spot back as the 17 of Gray holds him up on the front stretch. White flat flies for the 13 of Steve Clemens going into corner number one. Jeremy Meyerhopper putting the pressure on the seven of Pat Krask. Let's see if he can get around a little bit of a push. Pat Krask a little loose on the top side. Let's see if Meyerhopper can hold on. Steve Clemens gonna walk away with the checkered flag. Meyerhopper gets out in front. Pat Krask gonna try to get around. Looks like Meyerhopper's gonna hold on. As the 27 of Robbie Baxter comes across in fourth. Good race for Robbie. And coming across the stripe, the 17X of Gray. That's Josh. Gray coming across in last place in that heat race. Congratulations to 13 of Steve Clemens out of Whitehall. Corey Koenig's first time in a race car and he is starting pole position. The number eight of DJ Amundsen, the 2K. The 2K used to be Matt Dorrington. Let me find out who is driving it this year. The 45 of Jeff Petroff out of Ennis, 99 of Brian Livergood, 1X Dan Steber, the 3 of Dan Gunther, and 6 of Chuck Fleming. Corey Koenig hammers down into corner number 1, gets passed by two cars, but he's holding his own in third place. Dan Steber goes on the high side and the 2K tries to go low, not enough room, he's going to try it again this time by. Corey Koenig now goes into one, first time in a stock car, trying to hold on the best he can, getting a little bump out of the 2K. A little help from the 1X as well. Out front, DJ Amundsen and the 99 of Brian Livergood are out front. Six X of Chuck Fleming and the 
the 1X, the Dan Thiever getting around Koenig on the high side and in the middle. Dan Thiever giving him a little nudge to let him know he doesn't appreciate the bump on the last lap. The number three of Dan Gunther coming around, holding his own. He is a new driver as well, doing a great job. DJ Almondson out in front, feeling pressure out of Brian Livergood. Livergood not able to make a move as DJ Almondson goes down low. Spin out in corner number three. That's going to be the number 45 of Jeff Tetra. He's going to get back going, not bringing out a caution flag. Tim Smith brings out the halfway down, halfway to go. Green and white rolled up. Let the drivers know there's four more laps to go. Brian Livergood trying to get around. DJ Almondson. DJ Almondson out of Belgrade jumped out to an early lead. It's held on for the entire race. One X and Dan Stever has a lot of room to make up. And Chuck Fleming out of Great Falls is going to try to get around him and get up into fourth spot. Dan Gunther able to get around the 88 of Sean Koenig. Jeff Petroff spun out. Didn't bring out a caution. Able to get back underway. And he's racing. Good action going on between Dan Stever and Chuck Fleming. Chuck Fleming trying to get around him on the low side. Looks like he's going to do it across the back stretch. White flag flies for DJ Amundsen, Brian Livergood, the 2K. The number six of Chuck Fleming, 1X of Dan Stever. Three, Dan Gunther, Corey Koenig in the 88, and the 45 of Jeff Petroff now going on the high side of Koenig. Check and flag flies. Congratulations to DJ Amundsen. Brian Livergood, the 2K. Chuck Fleming, not happy with his performance. 1X to Darren Stever, coming across now for fifth spot, sixth spot. Good race between the 45, Jeff Tetroff, Dan Gunther in the three, and the 88 of Corey Koenig. Congratulations, DJ Amundsen out of Belgrade, Sir Scott's Oasis, Gallatin Flying Service, and Tire Rama. Team T of Tom Pozar on the outside. The 48 of Bill Cooper out of Sweetgrass and our birthday boy, Alan alley -oop Adams in the number 27. The 1M, Mike Moran out of Billings with Tony Stever starting on the outside of him. And Troy Hyde starting in the back of the pack in the 25T. Troy tries to take over Lance Hogan, slides up into him. 
record next time by. Troy Hyde wins heat race number one. Lance Hogan, Tom Pozar, Alan Adams, and uh, the 48, driven by Bill Cooper, Tony Stever, and Mike Moran. Congratulations, Troy Hyde, Natural Exposures, Rushler Chevrolet, and Panda Sinclair sponsor that car, giving Lance Hogan the old slide job on the last lap to get around him. The 17 of Matt Gray starting in the back of the pack. Tim Smith gives him one more time by. Ron Gathridge out of West Yellowstone on pole position with Jason George out of Billings. Both good drivers, Gary Hill and Bruce Tossi, good as well. And our North Dakota driver in the 2K be looking for these guys to move up front. Good racing action going on as green flag flies. For Superstock Heat Race number two, Doug Martin goes on the high side. Corey Carnes in the 2K with Hank Adams in the middle of the pack. Jason George rockets out front with their own Gathridge. In second, Gary Hill going to go on the underside as Gathridge pushes up in corner number four. Bruce Tossi in the 2C waiting for a mistake to make his move. May not have enough time as Jason George starting to run away with it. Chase Crawford. 
Crawford in fourth with Rich Baxter falling into third. Chase Crawford goes on the low side and switches spots with Baxter. Jack Norris in the number eight and Harold Lloyd. Elvin Austin Miller and Tom Huber in the number four. Darren Waldo and Paul Donnelly running away from the west of the field. Catch him. 
pressure out of Mike Miller, the three car, the third place car rather, sitting in a comfortable position as Marty Hershey takes the checkered flag. Jody Crump, Tom Olson in third. Mike Miller and Philippi able to get around. Tony Stewart on the last corner. Congratulations, Marty Hershey out of East Helena. Pit Stop Blue, Big Bear Signs, Wiseman's Custom Exhaust, and Stillwater Investigation sponsor Marty Hershey. Those of you who are here every week, week in, week out, you notice there's a modified missing tonight. No 99X. Randy Larson taking the week off. So we are going to be changing around points there for the Mini Nickel Modified and the Late Model Trophy. Roy Minster starts out in front with the 16 of Dave Hiller, Jody Kropp, and Rock Digley bringing up the second row. Mike McCord and Jerry Meyerhofer in the 32 bringing up the back of the pack. Green flag flies for late model action. Roy Minster jumps out to an early lead. Rock Digley going to try to follow the 97 of Jody Kropp. Gets slowed up a little bit. Dave Hiller gets into him, able to hold on with that racket pinion steering in these high horsepower cars. Dave Hiller drifts up high. Mike McCord and Jody Kraut battling it out for third spot. Rock Digley in the number one late model trying to work on Roy Minster, who got a good jump off the green flag. Josh Adams and this 
coming across the stripe. Congratulations to the 77 of Josh Adams out of Helena, Auto Be Clean, Telegraphics, and Adams Transmissions. And we're taking 20 to the main event. Gary Gustin in the 17th, starting on pole position with Sean Koenig in the 88. 1X of Dan Stever starting on the inside row. 11 of Brian Hillier. Dallas Whiting in the number 6. 45 of Jeff Petroff out of Ennis. The 15 car driven by Brannigan Brownell out of Bozeman. On the outside of him, that's Dan Gunther in the number 3. The 17 is Gray. That's Josh in the streeter. And Corey Koenig. That's Sean's brother driving the 88C in the back of the pack. Green flag flies and he lets him go. Jody Crop, Paul Donnelly, Mike Miller faded back to fifth spot. 
Marty Hershey, sixth, Tom Huber, seventh, Kirk Norris. Coming across, Tony Stewart should be a lap down. So it was Kirk Norris, 14 of Elton Ostermiller, Tom Olson, and then Tony Stewart. Congratulations, Paul Donnelly out of Great Falls. Mini Nickel modified winner on KTVM 6 and 42 night. I'd like to remind the kids that you please need to stay off the front rail. We've had several tires hit the safety fence and uh, could have caused a problem if somebody was hanging on the front rail, rail. So we please ask the kids to not hang on the front rail. Thank you very much. One more lap to go and we are underway. Tim Smith lets them pick up the pace. Two by two by two, nose the tail, door to door. 20 cars, 20 laps, one winner. Going across the back stretch, DJ Almondson and Lauren Schmidt out front. Tim Smith lets them go as the green flag flies. DJ Almondson out in front with Lauren Schmidt. Let's see how we fare around corner number one. Robbie Baxter goes on the low side with the 13 of Steve Clements. Pat Kras shoots down low, trying to get around the 99 of Brian Livergood. Ron M. Berry in third, Little Squirrely coming around the corner, trying to hold on to 2K of Nick Doug Richards in fourth place. Pat Kras goes, and the 120 comes around, gonna have a pile up in the corner. Looks like everybody made it around clean. Could have been a disaster with a car sitting sideways on the speedway. Low rider, low rider going on the 120. Must have lost a shock or a spring. Baxter, 73 of Cal Rosner, 13 of Steve Clemens, 99 of Brian Livergood, Chuck Fleming in the number six. That's Kirk Norris in the Dave Norris, rather, out of Powell, Wyoming, in the 67. Jeremy Meyer, Hoffer, Sean Koenig, Brian Hilliard, Gary Gustin, kick the green flag. per driver. Now we have changed Tim Smith, green flag in hand, lets him go out of corner number four. Smith, black flag in hand. He is letting uh, 
Brian Hilliard know about it. Jeff Petroff out of Innes comes back on the track. Tim Smith lets him go.
One X and Dan Stever lost his tire in quarter number two on the cool down lap. I didn't get to see what happened, but thankfully Terry with Mr. T's towing is here. He'll be able to give him a hand. Brannigan Brownell on the back stretch is stalled as well. Meyerhofer won one here earlier this year. Let's get ready for green, green, white, checker, late model race. As they come out of corner number four, they're going to hammer down, and we're underway. Tim Smith lets them go. Roy Minster and Josh Adams hooking bumpers. That's going to bring out the caution flag right away. So much for the green, white, checker theory. We didn't even make it out of the first quarter. Johnny on the spot. Terry with Mr. T's got his Montana off and in the back. So we have Rock Digley, Jody Crop out in front, Jim Zaremski, Dave Freeman, Mike McCord, Ron Fuller, Jerry Meyerhofer, Dave Fowler, Dave Hiller, Bob Scott, Tim Ames, and Josh Adams. Green flag flies.
Congratulations to Jody Crop out of Great Falls, taking home the feature win in the late models on KTVM 6 and 42 night. ready to take the green flag from Tim Smith out of corner number four. Caution flag flies for debris on the track. We are going to start over as somebody lost a piece of their car on corner number two. Looks like that is either the panel, an access panel, to the gauges or a really small fuel door. The 2K of Curtis Carnes out of Williston, North Dakota gets his spot back in front of Gary Hill out of Great Falls behind Troy Hyde of Bozeman. Let's try this again. 20 laps and uh, we are underway. Jason George and Bruce Tossi out in front. Three wide going into corner number two. Troy Hyde. Cooper in the 48 out of Sweetgrass and uh, Gathridge. Looks like the Lance Hogan has a bad push as well as Doug Martin. 
up with the front runners. Troy Hyde out in front. Alan Adams, Bruce Tossi, Bill Cooper, Jason George, Gary Hill, Hank Adams, Ron Gathridge, Carnes out of North Dakota, Doug Martin, Gray, 1M, Mike Moran, Tony Steamer, Lance Hogan, and uh, Tom Tozar in the 16 t
All right, congratulations tonight. Superstock main event winner, Troy Hyde out of Bozeman. Gonna move on to the modifieds next. Made a couple trips to the Speedway this year. First time in the winter circle this year for Gallatin International Speedway. We're gonna have our uh, young junior, McDonald's Junior Fan Club coming in. Come on on here, buddy. You can get your trophy from Paul. There you go. Go ahead and exchange trophies. Congratulations on winning. Congratulations to you as well. Ran pretty good tonight. Uh, what do you think about Jody uh, saying a little advantage running two classes uh, didn't seem to bother you at all? No, it don't bother me. I help him out. and We learn from each other. and it, It's an advantage maybe for him, but not for me. He gets tired, right? He's running the late model. <laughs> well, I tell you, it was a real good show of sportsmen. You guys running out there tonight, running neck and neck. You know, I love watching guys going into the corner, not touching each other, coming out of the corner. Real good driver. We hope to see you back here again. Thanks. Congratulations, Paul Donnelly out of Great Falls, winning tonight's Mini Nickel Modified Main Event. And for the street stocks, no stranger to the winner circle, we have a little McDonald's Junior Fan Club member. She is going to get this little trophy. Go ahead and thank you, Sydney. There you go. And this one's yours, sweetheart. That pretty. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't tend to cooperate too much. Running good again tonight. Uh, been battling with a couple different drivers all year. You've been a front runner, definitely. Um, what is your key to the consistency that you have every week? Uh, the car is just set up really good. It hooks up good coming out of the corners. Good motor, good chassis. Well, that, that's about rounds it out. Why don't we give your sponsors a thank? You know, I know uh, Ron Fuller with Whitehall Body Shop gives you a lot of hand uh, and family and friends. Oh, yeah. Ron Fuller, thanks a lot. He runs Whitehall Body Shop and CarQuest. Jim Tingler in Whitehall, he helps me out quite a bit. All right, congratulations. Steve Clemens out of Whitehall winning tonight's Street Stock Main Event. Let's head down to the pits and see what these cars look like. Talk to the drivers and talk to them about tonight's races. I'm going to head over to JR's, watch the videos. Remember, if you're not heading over there, talk to Fred Ma. He's the videographer here at the Speedway, and he can set you up with a racing video. Congratulations to all tonight's winner, and we'll see you next week.